right. So like I mentioned, we're talking about Super Bowl 55. So a, a super good matchup. You guys couldn't have asked for a better Super Bowl, to be truthful. We got the Kansas City Chiefs going against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Super Bowl 55. I'm going to go over some of the game and the matchups, and I'm going to kind of just give the uh, Drew formula is what I call it to predicting who's going to win the Super Bowl. And for those who don't know, or for those that do know, Drew's formula is he looks at the quarterback, he looks at the defense, and he looks at the coach. And uh, basically, whoever has the better of those three, uh, he dubs those as the as the victors, essentially, and in his prediction. So we're going to look at the quarterback matchup. Of course, we got Patrick Mahomes. And Tom Brady matching up in this Super Bowl. We literally have the GOAT uh, going to the Super Bowl for the 10th time, going for his seventh ring. Crazy to think about. Patrick Mahomes is in the Super Bowl for the second year in a row, going for his um, going for a back-to-back Super Bowl, which has only been done a handful of times. Truthfully, it's the perfect matchup. I mean, we have the young phenom quarterback up and coming in the league going against, you know, no argument, the greatest, you know, quarterback to ever step foot on the gridiron, uh, going one-on-one against each other. Um, So just to look at their weapons real quick, Tom Brady, he's got the following. He's got Gronk, of course, at his tight end. A.B., who they signed, uh, you know, in the middle of the season. Uh, Mike Evans, who's been basically a red zone beast for them all year. And Chris Godwin, who is so speedy, so fast. Um, And then you got Patrick Mahomes with Travis Kelsey, probably arguably the best tight end in the game today. Tyreek Hill, which is arguably one of the best receivers this game has ever seen with how fast he is, his route running ability. Markel Holdman, um, who is also a speedy guy, um, a little underrated, but he's definitely a weapon in this offense. And Clyde Edwins Hilaire, uh, who is also the phenom running back for this uh, Kansas City Chiefs, Chiefs team, beg your pardon. Uh, But if I had to look at these weapons, um, you know, going down the line, I would also look at the quarterback, too. I think Tom Brady, even though he is 43, he's done a great job. He's thrown for something 4,000 yards and 40 touchdowns or something along those lines or close to 40 touchdowns. I'm looking at this and I'm still saying that I think Mahomes is the is a clear favorite in this one. Um, His arm is just super electric. Um, He usually finds uh, ways to get the ball out. He makes these wicked no-look passes, and he even, I think uh, this offseason, earlier in the start, he wanted uh, Andy Reid's blessing so that way he can start throwing behind the back throws, you know, so that's the kind of swagger you got to want in a quarterback to just know that he's he's proven and he's got the stuff. But overall, you guys, I would say for me, I would probably go with Patrick Mahomes. Younger, arm is a little bit more electric. I like Kelsey and Hill above majority of um brady's um weapons just because they're kind of proven they've all been together now for several seasons where brady is still you can tell is still trying to get on the same page with some of his receivers not necessarily gronk um but you can just tell like it just is taking an extra minute for them to kind of get on the same page um and especially with like chris uh, chris godwin last week um he had a couple of crucial drops in their nfc championship game against green bay and had, you know, the Buccaneers not kind of, um, you know, not kind of persevered, uh, that kind of probably would have cost them the game just because of those drops for like, you know, extending the possession or just getting that extra yardage that they might need for whatever the situation calls for. But for the most part, I would say that I, I prefer Patrick Mahomes in this kind of quarterback breakdown. Um, so I'm giving the dub over here to the quarterbacks. (laughs) 